President Trump. But now we're finally, it seems at least based on this phone call, seeing that come to fruition. Right. I think there's two things going on with this call today and with the promotion of it, both by the Kremlin and the White House. One is it allows the president to take a victory lap on stopping a terrorist attack, tough on terrorism. The second is it allows him to troll his critics a little bit on the Russia issue. I mean, here everyone is concerned, or at least some of Trump's critics, about whether he's too close to Russia. And he's uh, essentially fist bumping President Putin about the CIA giving intelligence to the Russians. Now, I think we all would agree that if the U.S. has intelligence about a terrorist attack somewhere, no questions asked. We should always share it with that government to help stop it. But the fact of the matter is this allows the president to show he's not going to be bowed by those who are continuing to raise concerns about potential collusion with Russia. Charlie, let me, uh, I want you to take a listen to, uh, we're going to play you this, to this soundbite from the president's remarks at a uh, Pensacola rally earlier this month. Uh, and I want to compare it to Vladimir Putin's comments during his uh, end of the year press conference we were talking about there on Thursday. The two leaders actually literally talking about the same exact points uh, in lock and step. Watch this. The stock market. Look at the markets. How hitting an all-time high record. How they've grown. Economic growth. This attests to the trust investors show. Consumer confidence in the American economy surged to 3.3%. They have trust in what President Trump is doing. Because it's all psychological to a large extent. And that's what creates greatness. With all due respects. They call themselves the resistance. For the opposition of President Trump. Did you ever see these signs? Resist. Resist. You know, all of this has been invented. And these fake people back here. Made up. All right, so a lot, of, a lot of similarities in the talking points between the two there. I'm curious to get your thoughts, uh, Charlie, on what we can gather from the president's relationship with Putin when you look at these comments side by side like that. That, that was a, a clever editing job. My, my compliments to, you, to the staff there for that. That was, that was funny. I think uh, it's clear that these two presidents would like to move past this issue that uh, is, ensnared both of them, and especially is, uh, if it, Russia did, we, well, we know Russia did try to interview in the election. We just don't know if the Trump campaign colluded in it or not. But either way, they were hoping to get 